Hello and welcome back to another video of reviewing food right here in Urbana Champagne. Um, today, we're right at the end of Green Street. We have the famous shawarma joint. Um, and it's important to note that I have tried shawarma joint twice before in the last couple of weeks. However, this time it's a little different. Usually I go for a bowl. This time we're going for one of my favorite desserts and I'll tell you why in a second, the baklava. And I have many connections, um, especially cause I am from Egypt. So obviously the baklava and shawarma joint in general aims at Mediterranean cuisine. I'm from Egypt and this is as Mediterranean and as Egyptian food does get. Um, so just a little story right here. Um, I, growing up, uh, used to sit down with my mom and actually watch her and help her make uh, baklava. So I have had experience with actually making it before, but I have never taste tested it from right here uh, in shawarma joint. So that's going to be truly an experience. Um, and I think this will be nice so I can feel culturally connected as well. Um, and I've always found comfort in food. I found comfort in other Mediterranean cuisines like falafel. Um, but it's been a while or since I at least for the last month that I've been here that I have not ate baklava. So obviously it means a lot to me. It means a lot to my family. But let's actually see what baklava consists of. So let's open it from its bag. So this is the packaging. Ooh. Okay. So... Um, the science behind it actually is rather simple, especially because I've seen it made uh, when my mom used to make it, but it, it goes with phyllo dough. So this is phyllo dough. So phyllo dough is pretty simple. It consists of three items, um, water, flour, and vinegar. So it's water, flour, and vinegar, and that consists of phyllo dough. Um, and when I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk about how to make it in a second, but it's important to keep in mind that it's really filled with technique. It's all about technique when actually making it. I only know this because my mother, uh, my mom used to make it. So what happens with the filo dough and the technique is the ability to actually be able to roll it precisely. So rolling it thin, I can actually open it here while I speak, um, to be able to roll it thin. Um, and that's what uh, the water and flour help with. And then they create gluten, the water and flour create gluten, and the vinegar kind of acts as an accelerant or makes the flour uh, or the more rapid to produce more vinegar, um, to produce more. And that's what the vinegar does, sorry. Um, and then also the vinegar, it stretches the dough really thin. So even if you like, if I take one right here, we're gonna see that, oops, let me pull it out. It is packed with layers. It is packed with layers. Um, and how it is layered is it is used um, by oil. I mean, at least that's why growing up, I knew it was oil. There are other ways um, to layer it, I think only because my mom used to do oil and that just preserves the moisture. Um, also makes it very crispy. But enough talking. Um, let's taste it. Wow. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Um, tastes really good. Exactly how I thought it would be. Similar to my mom's. Um, I think here actually it is a little bit more crispy. Um, but I'm, a, I'm about to finish all this. Um, but that's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, and wait till next time I review an Urbana Champagne food.